Hi, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to make your own dark mode theme for your SharePoint Online intranet site. So, this would be typically the end result, um, what we're going to be looking at building today. Um, now, you can see I've got a really sort of dark uh, greys and blacks in the background, and I'm also using um, a kind of a brighter green, neon green as a kind of accent colour. So, there's two reasons why you might want to create a dark mode theme inside of SharePoint. Um, one is that it might just be your brand's kind of identity, is that you use a lot of kind of dark greys and the colour black uh, and things like that as part of your overall colour palette and theme. Um, the other is sometimes people find it easier and more accessible um, to, to read um, content with a dark background. Um, Unfortunately, with SharePoint, it's not so easy that people can just flick between um, the different colors and themes uh, themselves. So you have to build them um, and have them in place. You could consider having uh, variations of sites. You could have a particular SharePoint site and then a dark mode variation um, of that site uh, that you could link people to. And that would give them the ability to have um, almost like a, a dark mode option of their SharePoint site. So actually how do we go about building this dark mode well it is going to require a little bit of powershell to build out our theme but it's quite simple um, and i'm going to show you step by step how to achieve this so if you've never used powershell before i'm going to guide you through this step by step so if you have if you've never used sharepoint uh, powershell before the first thing to do is go to google and just google sharepoint online management shell um, and then the very top hit here sharepoint online management shell should take you to a page which will look a little bit like this where you've got the SharePoint online management shell and then an offer of a download. I've already got mine installed so I'm not going to do this today but just click on download um, and then just follow the prompts for installing and making sure you've got the SharePoint online management shell uh, installed. Once you've done this um, you can then open up the SharePoint management shell. Um, you can do this um, by either using the search box which is just cut off at the bottom uh, screen here or just open up you can click on the windows key on your keyboard uh, which actually appeared on my other screen here um, and then into the search box of your computer you can just search for SharePoint and that'll find SharePoint online management shell um, you'll open that up and then it'll look a little bit like this so this is the SharePoint online management shell this is the PowerShell window in which you will be um, running your PowerShell script. I'll give you a copy of the PowerShell script as well in the description box below so you don't have to do a lot of typing out you can just copy and paste this when it comes to actually time to run our PowerShell script. The next thing we need to do is we need to just navigate to Microsoft's theme designer web page. Again I can provide a link for this in the description box below to make it a lot easier for you. So this will land us onto the theme generator web page. So this is where you can design your color theme. So there's a number of areas here where we can design colors, uh, which includes the primary theme, theme color. So every theme inside of SharePoint um, has a primary theme, which is essentially the main color of your brand. You can then specify the body text color and the body background color. And you can see down here, this is, um, actually where it will give you a bit more detail about the um, palette colors um, and give you a bit of an example of what it looks like when with sort of toggles and different text and things like that uh, loading bars and what it'll look like once you've actually created your theme so the first thing we need to do is enter in the hex reference of our primary color so by primary color what i mean is the main color of your brand so let's pretend that our brand color is going to be uh, yellow and we want this to be the dark mode variation of this um, then I'm just going to type in or paste in the hex reference of my yellow which is this nice uh, very bright uh, neon yellow um, now because it's going to be a dark mode theme um, I want my body text color to be quite light if not I, I want it to be white um, so it can easily stand out in the background here um, now as you can see this does actually change the text as we're kind of um, of the actual page as we're moving this slider. So the first thing I'm going to do actually before I change this because obviously all the text is going to disappear is I just need to change the body background color to be that sort of darker or even 
black. So I can make that completely black. And then with the text, I can make the text completely white. So now we've got um, the, the white text and we've got the complete uh, sort of black background. If we scroll down, this will then show us our kind of fabric palette so we can see what this is going to look like against different texts and we can see what the different sliders are going to look like and things like that. So I think this looks quite smart. I like the kind of the, the black and yellow um, kind of theme. So the next thing we need to do is we actually need to just copy um, all of this PowerShell that we've got here on the right hand side. This is what we're going to use for our script and this will be what the variation will be from the uh, script that I will paste into the description box and what you will need to actually run your own color theme. So we then right click on this and click on copy and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and amend my script with this. So here's the script that we're going to be running. It's quite simplistic actually when you when you break it down. The first bit is we just need to be able to connect to SharePoint Online. So this bit will actually allow us to connect. Now we do need to be a SharePoint admin. So if you are going to run this, you have to have the SharePoint admin role inside of Microsoft 365 Tenant um, in order to run this SharePoint um, PowerShell. Um, if you don't have that, you would need someone who has that access or you would need to get that access first. For more information about the admin role, I suggest you watch my video uh, which talks about the SharePoint permissions as we do go into a bit of uh, about roles inside of there as well. The next section is once we've connected is actually this is the PowerShell of creating our color theme. So what you will need to do is you'll need to just replace everything between these brackets, this at symbol and this bracket here with what we just copied before um, from the theme generator. So if I just click on delete and then I click on control V, con uh, sorry, control and then V, that just pastes in then that color theme that we had. Now down here, the, the other piece that you will need to change is you'll need to change the theme name. So I'm going to call this my um, yellow, oops, yellow dark theme or dark mode theme. And the final thing is you'll need to just check up here and you'll need to change this update to be actually your uh, SharePoint domain name. Now to get this, all you need to do is go back into your SharePoint and you should see here between HTTPS and then the forward slashes and the dot SharePoint, this is your SharePoint domain name. So that's just the piece that you'll need to right click, copy that, and then again, open up our uh, script. And then we're going to re completely remove all of that update. So including the brackets, and then we're going to paste in our SharePoint domain name. So again, there's a quick run through. We've then got a connect SPO service, which is connecting to essentially this is the admin center of our SharePoint site. And if you wanted to just double check this, grab the URL here, copy that out. And then if you were to open up another window and paste that URL in, it should take you directly to your SharePoint admin center. So this, this is how you know definitely that you are connecting to the right URL. If this didn't work, then your script won't work. So um, I always just double check that to make sure I've got the right URL first, but it's not essential. Then within our script, this is the color theme um, that we've generated that we pasted between here. And then the final action is to add SPO theme uh, and the identity is between this. This will be the name. So this is important because this is what's going to show up when we come to select our, our theme later on. So we want to know that it's our yellow dark mode theme um, to make it nice and obvious um, that that's what that is. So the final thing then we just need to do is copy all of this. So we select all of it. So we can click on Control A, um, or we can just select all and then Control C uh, to copy it, or right click and click on Copy. Then we uh, go back to our PowerShell uh, window, and we just need to paste that in. So we just say paste anyway. Gives a bit of a warning. And now the first thing it's going to do before it runs anything else is it's going to go through to my connection screen. So this is just like any other Microsoft 365 login box. Um, so I'm just going to enter in my email address, so admin. Com. Then I just need to enter in my password. And of course, uh, multi-factor authentication. So I'm just actually going to get a text message through um, on here. Again, um, if you don't have multi-factor authentication enabled, I do suggest you turn this on because it's 
uh, an actual security lifesaver. So I'm going to just type in the code that I've just received via text to authenticate. Now I've authenticated. Now you can see it's completely run my script. I know that it's not errored because it's gone all the way through and it's now down here and I can see it's sort of flashing as if it's ready to enter some more text. So it has run, it's complete. All I now need to do is go and turn my theme on. So uh, let's go back to my SharePoint site. So back on my SharePoint site now. Um, all I now need to do is change the color theme. Now this can be done on any site. But I should also say that actually setting it on the hub site will mean that any sites which are inheriting that hub site will automatically inherit that color scheme. So if you did want to have a variation of the, the color theme for a particular page, you couldn't have it associated to the same hub site, otherwise you'd find it automatically overriding the branding. So if we click on the cog across the top, we can now select the change the look option. And the very top one is theme. So this is where we're going to change our color theme. And then I'm going to select on the yellow dark mode. So this is the name of the theme that we selected in our script. And then I'm going to click on save across the bottom. And now you can see I've now got my dark mode theme set up. And it's got my yellow kind of accent color, which is my main brand color, uh, my primary brand color. And that's applied then throughout my page. So it's a really nice black and yellow color theme that's now running throughout my SharePoint intranet page. I wanted to ask a favor. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe to my channel like this video and if you've got any questions or comments or thoughts at all related to uh, this video or anything SharePoint use the comments feed below to ask me a question. I do my very best to respond to everybody's questions to help you get started in using SharePoint yourself but please do sub subscribe to the channel as it really does help the channel grow and helps me out a lot more than you realize. Thank you very much for your time to watching this video.